This client's been doing it for 20 years, started in Arizona, worked the Arizona, California market, and then uh, Washington for a little bit, and now I'm here in the South. So I've been primarily a, a GM or a sales manager. I've been wor- I worked at four dealerships in those 20 some years. Anytime I can find a product where I can make money, it makes me excited. And this product, uh, the way the product looks compared to what you see in stores and everything, the perception and the value can be seen. And so I decided to take that product and put it in front of my salespeople, finance managers, also my service managers, so that we try to take care of and take an opportunity and turn it into a, a good profit margin for us. I think in five, I don't know, we probably sold 200 of them the first year with an average profit probably three, 300 to 400. So you add that up and you can see how much profit there is to be made in that. And then, of course, you have the $50 to the salesperson. But when you look at the numbers, all in all, it makes sense and you make a lot of money and it's not that hard to sell. The, 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 the look of the display is pretty awesome. The top mattress is probably better than most people's mattresses they have in their own homes. And for the price, it just seems to me that, that we can sell these things pretty well, and, and that's exactly what we've done. Our process works like this. So we get a customer, we sell them a unit, and then while they're waiting for finance, whether they buy a new or used, especially it works well on used, but we sold them on new where people bought new and, and, and try to get a better mattress. But what we do is they're sitting waiting for finance. The salesperson goes over and says, hey, look at our mattress program here. They look at them. They're, they're nice high-end mattresses, lots of lots of value there. They say, well, our unit already has a mattress. They say, well, you've got to use the used mattress. You don't really want to use somebody else's used mattress to you. And that gets them thinking. And sometimes at that point, we see the price and they go ahead and put in the deal or they pay for it on their own. Then what happens if we don't get, get a, a, a yes at that point, when they go into finance, the finance manager knows they haven't sold it. So what he does is when he's pitching his product, he says, hey, did they show you that mattress out there? You can probably get that mattress for just a couple of dollars more a month on your payment, and it's well worth it. And sometimes he'll sell it. And then if he misses it, our service department, when they do the walkthrough, they will ask if they got a new mattress, and if they say no, they'll talk them into it or try again. So we hit them at three points. We mark them up a couple hundred dollars more than what you guys recommend because I just see so much value in there. I says we might as well just try for that. And if we have to go down, we do. But most of the time, we stay pretty much at that full price. The salesman get 50 bucks. So whoever sells it, service, finance, or sales, they get $50 uh, right cash in hand on that. So that's an extra motivation for them. Here's the point. They just purchased a unit. They have a lot of excitement. They just got done with the process of negotiating, so they're waiting. And then treat it like any other add-on. We say, hey, we've got mattresses here under $1,000, some as low as $600. You have a used coach. You don't want to have to keep that mattress in there, do you? And you start thinking about it. I would say, you know, I mean, we're not successful every time with it, but we get our, we get our shot at them three times. and. We give the people fifty dollars. Whoever sells it, cash in hand uh, to do it. And that's how you need to really put the program. If you're just gonna throw a racket against the wall and have people walk by it, I mean, you're not gonna sell that many. That's kind of the difference that we've done with the product versus some other people. Once we know that's a good deal, the customer's a good credit, we're going to get financed, then the salesman gets $50 cash in hand. They get it right away. So that's a good money. We don't stick it on their check. We just give them 50 bucks. They know they they have a shot of getting $50 right then and there and take advantage of it, or at least try. Remember, they just got done negotiating a the deal. They're sitting at the table, and they're kind of a excited about the new purchase and that's the time that you hit them with it. You try to create some add-ons that uh, make their unit and all a little nicer and who doesn't like a brand new nice mattress. Now as far as the sales pitch we talked about the size of the mattress, the people who make them push in still how firm it is and how nice it is and 
get them involved with a little bit, and so they see the value there. And if you go mattress shopping in stores, the nice mattresses are fifteen, two thousand dollars and stuff. I mean, the nice ones. So you know, there's cheaper mattresses, obviously for less. But um, you guys have, I think, three different grades, so they can have you know A, B, or C. The lowest mattress is less money, but most people, it seems to me, pick the 10 or the 8. seems like what they pick most of the time. We, we saw the top two, is, uh, and then the uh, the third one very rarely also. A lot of travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes is pretty much what we carry. We have a pretty big parts department here, probably the biggest I've ever been at. We give it to them, too, so the parts people upstairs have an opportunity to get customers that come in off the street also that aren't buying an RV. So we hit all the angles from the salesperson, the finance, the service, and the parts store upstairs. We have an upstairs parts here. So everybody gets a chance to try to sell them. And and if they know they're getting $50, it's a little bit of motivation there. The key to that is giving them money when they sell it. It it has more of an effect on the person who's selling it because they know that they're going to get instant cash. And that's kind of been the key to our program. If I just said, we're going to give you 50 bucks and put on your check, yeah, we'd still sell some. And people would still try somewhat. But when they know they're getting the money in their hand, they seem to do a little bit uh, better sales job presenting it and pushing it. Not, I don't want to say pushing, but creating the value to buy it now and get it where you can put in the financing or you can put on a credit card. or And they'll ship it to you direct, which is nice. You guys ship it right to them, customer, which that helps. With the, the prices you guys have, they're really low for what I think is a lot of value. We decided to make a push at our dealerships to sell a lot of mattresses. It's a lot of money on the bottom line. Yeah, we haven't had any issues. And people, we order them, and people usually get their mattresses pretty quickly. And I don't really think I've had customers calling and say, where's my mattress? As long as you tell them up front that it may be a week or so, I mean, they know, but... um Turnaround's been pretty good. Really haven't had any issue. That's what makes it nice and sweet. You just call in the order and and you're done with it. That's one thing I like. My day is pretty busy and to deal with people calling out, where's my mattress, doesn't really work for me. So with you guys, it hasn't been that issue at all. You do a good job. Thank you.